Hello, this is Lee over at 3D Palace, and welcome back to our Lehman Roos inspired tank build. Um, last part, we went ahead and finished up the side plating, got everything copied over. So now that we have a complete tank, um, we worked on refining the base shape a little bit, and we fixed up the turret so it made a little bit more sense. Now, uh, what I want to work on this time is I want to go ahead and make the armor plates that sit over the top of the treads. Okay, so with that said, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to select this guy here. And I'm going to select this. Uh... Yep, I'm going to go ahead and select that one. And let's go ahead and just copy them. Copy them to an object. Object name is going to be Tread Armor. Okay, and that's going to be 001. Call it Front Tread Armor. Front Tread Armor 001. Okay, so now we can freely work with that. Let's go ahead and select him. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and we're going to make him a little thicker, obviously. So, let's extrude. Ooh, not that much. Okay. Good. Let's go ahead and grab this side here move them over so that he covers the treads good okay that is excellent okay so now the way that this is set up there are, ooh, let's see, how do we want to do this? The easiest way to do it, we select here, and we're going to hinge from edge, we're going to pick our hinge, being this one, and go... 90 degrees. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and bump up the sides. To three is fine. Okay. Come over here, we're going to do the same thing. We want to hinge from an edge. We're going to pick our hinge, being this one. Click OK. Now we want to grab them two. Okay. And extrude. By a bit. Until we hit about there. Click OK. Good dokey. Artichokey. So now what we can do is go ahead and select this face, this face and this face and then inset and that's fine and then extrude them inwards so that we have a little bit of a lip there okay Now on the back side here, I need to grab this edge, this edge, can we bridge them? Nope, 
because we have those back facing polygons. I can go ahead and delete these for right now. Okay. And then grab those, bridge them together because I need to grab these faces. Just turn the move off. Okay, and then we can hinge these from edge and pick our hinge to be this guy. And we don't need to go 90. We can get away with 30. Be 35. Oof, not even. Still 30. Oof, even less. Let's go. 28. Oof. 25 degrees. Yep. 25 degrees it is. Try that. Cancel that. There we go. Now we can go ahead and select this guy and just delete him. We really don't need those inside polyons you're never gonna see them so I think we can just leave that be okay well I guess, actually yeah you will won't you All right, so if we grab no, not you Oop. Well, let's go ahead and just close this back up again this and this and we're going to bridge good no this one and this one and bridge there we go now we have a face there okay and Go with this guy and this guy and bridge those together. Here we go. Okay. Now from that angle, most of the time that's about all you're gonna see. So that's all we really need to worry about at that point. Okay. Good, good. Now we could have made those a bit beefier by using the uh, scale tool, but uh, that's fine. It's all good in the hood. Drink some water. Okay, we're going to do the same thing up here. So let's go ahead and turn this off. Grab this guy here and polygon. Okay, we can drag our tool up here. Shift and drag. Oh, he's roughly level. There we go. Okay, mid. Let me just go upper. Tread. Armor zero zero one. Okay, right on. Let's see about where we're at here. That looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and select him. And we can extrude him. Fine. Tony's about the same as everybody else. Okay, select this guy. Move him on over to here. Make sure that he lines up about so. 
Okay. And then we can do the same thing with the pick from hinge. And we'll go ahead and pick our hinge, being this one here. Let's go 90. Give them three segments. Click OK. Come over here. Hinge from edge. Pick our hinge. 90 degrees. Click OK. Right on. Okay, now we can go back and select that face as well. Click our extrude and click OK. Right on, right on. All right. Now, let's go ahead and of course we want our polygon selection tool, we're going to go ahead and hit these guys. And we're going to go ahead and create our insets. Okay, let's go ahead and inset it a bit. Excellent. Um, on this one, I'm going to go ahead and use our scale tool. Just scale along the Y. Just a little. So that we have a little bit beefier and this guy it's just a little beefier um, railings there okay go ahead and turn that off let's select our uh, polygons again and let's go ahead and extrude inwards Good. Click OK. And we can move on from that one. And I think let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's select this guy again. Polygon mode front here okay do the same thing with the move tool and this time we want local okay we're gonna shift and drag him out about like so and we're gonna call him Rear tread plate rear tread armor zero zero one. Okay, turn that off so we can select him polygon. Okay, let's go ahead and extrude. That is fine. As we can just move him back down to about here. Okay. Select our friend here. Just move him along to roughly there. Okay. And since we already have him selected, we can hinge from edge. We're gonna go 90. We're gonna go three. We'll pick our hinge. Click OK. Come on over here. Select this one and do the exact same thing. Where we hinge from edge. Pick our hinge. Click OK. Now let's go ahead and get under here so we can ah. 
select that face there. There we go. And we can hit the extrude button. Turn it down a little bit. We want it sitting on top there. There we go. Click OK. Now, what we can do is just grab these guys and turn the move tool off here. Come around to the other side here. And we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. We want to extrude to about there. Okay. And then we're going to take our rotate tool and want along our view. And we're going to rotate whole while holding shift. Cancel. And we can do it around the element. That's fine. Because I'm just going to delete it. We don't need it. So let's go ahead and do that again. So what we can do is we can grab our move tool. And then shift and drag. Oop. I guess we're going to cancel that too. Used to be able to do this, but Max. Oh, Max. All right, so let's go ahead and just move them this way here. Line them up. And then we can just rotate them so that he fits properly. Okay. And we can do the exact same thing again, where we just extrude it a little. Well, like so. Then we use the rotate tool. So he's roughly straight. And move him to about there. That's good. Okay. Turn that off. Now, actually, we can take this whole thing and move them up. Okay. So let's go ahead and affect this pivot. I'm just going to center it to the object. Make sure it's aligned to the world. Align to the world. Affect pivot only off. Okay. Then we can move them up a little. So he's roughly in line. And that just means that if we go over here, we can grab these. This polygon here. And that polygon there, and just bring them down. There we go. Good. And we can do the same thing with these verts. Okay, we got them all. Okay, this guy would like to be in view. Move them down. And then with these, we should have those verts. Move them down. Perfect. Good to go. Okay. So now we can grab these guys. All of these guys. And this guy. Along with these guys. And inset. Give it a little bit more here. What are we doing? What's 
the deal here on the bottom. Hmm, weird. All right, well, let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of room here. And then we can go ahead and extrude them inward like so. And that should be good. Yay! Weird. Huh. Well, why it's doing that? Okay, well, we'll just do these here then. Strange. Inset. There we go. And extrude. Like so. Alrighty, and that is our plating done. Now we just need to add in our rivets. Probably move this one forward a little bit here. Let's go ahead and just affect all their pivots and center them to the objects. Make sure they are aligned to world. Okay, definitely off. Well, we can actually move these guys around a little bit. Want a little bit of a gap in between the plates. Okay, that's good. That looks pretty tight. And like I said, we're just going to need some rivets and we should be good to go. Excellent. I think with those we use the medium rivets. Or even the smaller rivets. Oh, the medium rivets are fine. Okay. Then we can actually take these and copy them over there when we're done. But it's been 20 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next part. So until then, bye-bye.